All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, been a couple days since I've jumped on here, but I've been a little bit busy doing something, and uh, the title kind of uh, says it all. We are driving now, as you can see, also by this uh, beautiful GTM uh, 567 that uh, we are running for Pacific or uh, Pacific Precision Carriers. Excuse me. Inhale a little bit too much of the uh, carpet powder while vacuuming, but more importantly, I want to stress that we are hiring. So, like, look through the description, the basic info down there, and it'll. Uh, I've got a link to uh, their Facebook, so go ahead and check that out. That way, you know what to do. So, what we've just done is they go off of a 70-hour work week, and when you hit that 70, you have to reset. Now, there's no limit to the resets, so you can do it as many times as you want. So what we're going to do right now is we are going to go in, and this is all done through uh, Facebook Messenger. Uh, actually, David, yeah, things have uh, been a hell of a lot better for me uh, than they have been in the past uh, long time. But what we're going to do here is we're going to go inside of the PCC dispatching here, and I'm going to go ahead, and since this is all done through Facebook uh, Messenger, they have the dispatching, the driver's lounge, and all that. I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to pick three loads here, see where they go, and see if we can get something. Like, I want to see if I can go down to Mexico or whatever with this all-terrain crane. What's going on, Husky? Uh, we'll pick one of these as a load here, and holy shit, that'll really eat into my time. So they, they won't take that one, but we'll go ahead and put this one in just for fun. We'll uh, go ahead, and I'm going to do this all through my cell phone here, which is what's kind of nice. Now, the truck that I'm in, the, the 567, is a Tier 2. You start at Tier 1 with uh, uh, the 579, the 680, or the truck shop Volvo VNL 670. And that was actually a fun truck to drive. So, I'm getting my log put together here. And what are we? We're in Nogales, Arizona. Alright, so job number one that we're going to try and get will be that all terrain crane. And it is going to some motherfucking place I can't spell. C U E N. TGO.MX. And it is how many hours? 44 hours and 59 minutes. Now, so you have to type all, all this stuff in. And you have to do it for three loads. So that was our first load that we picked. Ow. Yeah, bullheads are uh, not fun to get hit by. See if I could find some. I've already been to that place, been to Brownfield, been to Eli, been to Salt Lake. Have I been to Oakley? No, I've not. Let's try that one. Oh, so let's try this one. Job number two. Bottle of milk to Oakley, Kansas. That is 19 hours and 53 minutes. And it is 908 miles. Now we're going to go to our third job and input that one. What else do we want to pull? Hey, look, we can actually take a load down into uh, just down into the tip of Mexico. So that our last one will be sawdust panels. Oh God. Sawdust panels to San Felipe. And you're gonna hear you're going to hear various things going off like that. 
Seeing how I'm logged into Facebook for that. Ow, that sucks. That load is 10 hours, 22 minutes. And 488 miles. So I'm gonna submit that. And I'll wait for the dispatcher to get back to me. And then we will pick whatever Whatever Lodi tells me to. And dispatch already got back to me. We're going to San Felipe right there. Acknowledging dispatch, and we can go ahead and get our load of sawdust panels, and more importantly, you guys can see my tier two truck. So we've got a very simplistic logo, which is good. It's not over the top. My truck number there on the fenders. Now this is the heritage model, so it's a little bit fancier than the rest. So I like all the options it has. The only thing I didn't like and I still kind of don't like is the sounds on it, but. And you gotta do what you gotta do. So we're gonna, actually first, we're gonna go get some uh, fuel because we really, really need that. And it's on our way anyway, so perfect. Now the thing also with this uh, with this VTC is we are to follow all speed limits. Traffic events is our on. So basically, it's ultra realistic here. So if you want to do things the right way, then you're gonna have to do it the legal way. We're speed restricted at 65 miles an hour, 70 tops, depending on where we are. If uh, speed limit drops down to 30, you're required to drop down to that speed. I like it. In the past, let's just be day three now. I've put, uh, let's see, with the truck's book, uh, without having a, actually not. Let, let's take a quick look right here. Let's go to truck's book's site. Uh, it's gonna pop another tab up, up there. See how many miles I've logged just in the past three days. Trucks books. Log in. I have made 20 deliveries. I've driven 11,547 miles and brought in over half a million dollars in uh, revenue for the company. So yeah, we're really working on trying to get to that tier three so I can be back at Viper Speederbilt. But in the meantime, we are in our Heritage Edition uh, 567. Hey, watch it, Porsche. Just because you're like a half million dollar car doesn't mean you get precedence over me. All right, so we are gonna be heading to Mexico for the first time, seeing how we've got all the uh, maps to work now. Supposedly with the new Mexico map, I can work it with the Canada Dream. So we're gonna head over here to Centex and get our load. Now it'll be one of our trailers. Let's go in here and get our trailer. where she's at. She's on the other side of the lot. So we have to go around the building and go get her. I 
I am in the uh, GTM Peterbilt 567 Heritage Edition. Hopefully soon I'll be back in uh, Vipers 389. And there's our trailer right there, so good to see that there. Let's swing over here. Dumbass. Put the edge. There's our trailer back there. We'll go get attached to it. High range to low. Peek out those mirrors. Look. Oh, there we go. So we'll take a look and turn around and see that there's our logo. We've got everything down the side. It's a little hard to see because of the sun, but we do match. I like the uh, like the paint on it. Nice paint scheme, simplistic, but that's what we're aiming for. I've got a new one with this one. Sounds like a fucking yacht. Unfortunately, the uh, three or the 567 has the default SES sounds. So somebody made a uh, made sounds and a, a revision of the dashboard for this truck. And unfortunately, the Jake break sounds like shit. But well, the Jake break is this, but it does it over and over like that. It's like they stood up as an automatic. And I don't like the clunking either. But we got 488 miles to go, 10 hours and 21 minutes, which will all get deducted out of our time, out of our 70 hour drive time. I think what's really helped me get through the past two days is being able to listen to uh, music the entire time and now we're gonna be without music, but hey, it's all good, I got you guys. I had heard about that, and uh, I don't know if we get to use the uh, W900B from GTM as a tier three truck, or if it's the SCS uh, W900, but I do know that we can use Viper 2's uh, 389 as a tier three. Which I'm excited for that. I really do want to get back behind the wheel of the 389. But in the meantime, I am enjoying this 567, even though the Jake brake kind of sounds like it was made for an Allison automatic. So I kind of use it sparingly. And I don't know what the hell they use for the shifting, because it sounds like whatever. Thanks. Well, let me go, dude. I do have this one too, though. The only thing I don't like about the sound on this truck is it's so freaking quiet that you can't hear. When it's time to shift. All right, so 65 mile an hour is mile an hour. <laughs> 65 mile an hour is what we're going to set our cruise at. And make our way down to good old Mexico where I'm going to pick up some uh, authentic tequila and bring it back for the dispatch. My headlights are on, so... That's the other thing that I really don't like about this truck too. The, the gauge lights are extremely freaking dim. Other than that, there are no complaints. The sound makes it a lot more tall. Oh, look, we can actually go up to 70 now because 70, once again, being the max speed that we're allowed to run here. Usually it's 65 and the couple heavy hauls that I did. 
we're done. And, you know, I'm just gonna do it at, uh, depending on flow of traffic here. We'll set for 70, but be prepared not to use it. See how long we can stay in this one. Uh, I think that's just a combination of the roar and the super roar together. It might be something to do with uh, one of the engine sound packs that I have, like, uh, I think it's uh, Mortals Lope and No Lope engine sound packs. I think that's where I got the, uh, the horn from. It might have came in with, like, the engine sound itself, because, like, this truck here, it's got horns, but the weird part is, is you don't have horns that are visibly uh, shown on the truck. That's the other thing that people were really griping about is they didn't, you can't see the horns. But they're there. So we are going to be headed towards Phoenix and Ehrenberg because we have to make our way over down to the, the peninsula here. It's going to be interesting when we cross the border. Never done it before, so this is going to be a first for all of us here. But we do have Canada once again too, so that'll be fun. So we'll be able to do... Uh, we actually service the 48 states, Canada, and Mexico, so a lot of uh, room for uh, driving around. And you're free to drive as many miles as you want after it goes to dispatch. I personally like it because it's the closest thing to reality that you can, that I've ever seen as far as a, uh, a BTC. I like the way they do, they do the, the, the load logging. I like the dispatching, how it's personal. And sometimes you can't get a dispatcher. If you're, like, there's the last couple of days where I've been doing this. Up to about, like, you're good till about 11 o'clock central. Anything, like, after that, usually you're going to be requesting the load for the morning. So dispatch is pretty much open all day. And pretty late into the night. So I usually run my ass off during the day and then at night I'll slow down. What company's uh, putting you through it? I know that shit's expensive. Good, we fueled up. As long as we don't have any speed changes, we should be good to go all the way. Something tells me we're gonna have to go into uh, San Diego and then down from there, or El Centro or something like that. So I have a feeling we're gonna be hitting some 55 mile an hour uh, speed zone as we are on the base map right now. Who's got in the inside thing and he's hot stuff? You ain't going nowhere, buddy. Yeah, that's where you're going. You're going back. Now, I, I actually did kind of fall in love with the, uh, the 670. I was kind of sad when uh, I hit tier two and I had a load. They, they tried to get me back to <clears throat> back to Los Angeles. Not Los Angeles, Las Vegas, which is our central, uh, oh God, please don't ever, no, not JB Hunt. I'd, you're better off at Schneider than JB Hunt. You're better at Swift than uh, JB Hunt. I 
Actually, they all suck, so it really doesn't matter. But if they put you through school, you can always uh, drive for a couple of years, get the experience up, and then leave on good terms with them and pretty much be uh, wide open for any company that requires at least, say, like two to five years of uh, driving experience. I went through Challenger, which sort of a mistake, but pretty much all of them are a mistake when you're uh, first starting out. Oh, I didn't see that. Slow it down a little bit here. Speed dropped to 65. Let's get over because I uh, see we got an exit coming up. Perfect, while we're down here. I use that opportunity to drag you guys back down to the, why is it fucking, no, escape first. That way we're not rolling. We'll move you guys down to where I normally have you on the uh, left monitor so it's easier to read things. As that goes flying by you guys. Remove truck's book over here. There we go, now I can see everything perfect. We are good to go. I reset everything. Except our view, because that was all cattywampus. But now I can see you guys perfectly over on the left. Is that my thing just like Twitch? It's gotta be weird for you guys actually seeing me obeying all traffic laws. Normally is like gigantic no no. I'm actually enjoying it though, because it's gives me a sense of responsibility for once. Not to, I, I heard that those Mac engines were the only ones that really worked for the uh, for that truck. I just don't know if I could deal with a V8. Alright, so where the heck are we right now? I think I've actually got the uh, the V8 engine mod. <laughs> Haven't tested it out, but I don't think I'd like the sound of a uh, a V8 motor. But if it, if it fixes the jake brake, we all anybody who knows and is tuned in any of my uh, driving ones, I've I've got to have a good sound of jake brake, otherwise it just kills the truck for me. The biggest thing that helps is setting the cruise control, especially if you don't want to go over speed and how I've been able to avoid fines and all that stuff. Setting the cruise control and doing it all the time. Yep, the E9 motors.
I do have that mod installed. I just don't have, uh, well, actually, I have both of them installed. I have the W900B and the, uh, the E9s. Here, damn it. Sweet, so we can go back up to 70. Now this is the only time that I can actually see my gauge cluster, when it's dark. We should be able to hit 70 no problem in uh, eight low or 17th gear. Set our cruise control up. Oh, it's down to 65 now, so we gotta stay at. Uh, let's get this baby back up to it. Come on, you can hit it. One more mile an hour. That's all I need from you. Oh, actually, I don't know. Seeing how that road is narrower, I'm gonna back it on down a little. Piss everybody off of the bright lights. Our speed already. Yeah, right underneath like uh, maps. That's gonna be fun going up this hill. I think I've only got a five. It's, it's a sub 600 motor. And I can definitely tell I'm used to running with that N14. problem with the high beams is you can't freaking see these guys turn signals all right so I see he's not turning I can go ahead and blast them in the high beams again we're gonna get on I-8 here merge in with traffic and get going Hopefully we can set our cruise on 70 for a little while and just, uh, well, until we get to the uh, U.S.-Mexico border. Well, good. When I get into the, uh, when I make my decision, because it's going to be hard. Do I choose Vipers 389 or if the company offers it, do I take the uh, W900B? Personally, the Viper's truck has way more customization to it. And it's the truck that we all know that I am like, I might as well uh, get married again, have a second marriage to that truck. Actually a third marriage, because Married to this game because we have crossed well over the uh, thousand hour mark here. Last time I checked, it was like a thousand twenty eight hours. But I have been doing the, uh, the steady grind here. Believe it or not, I'm still not leveled up to where I have all the uh, the base perks maxed out. I still have to go through ADR, I've got to go through uh, fuel economy, I've got to go through 
long distance, high value cargo. None of those are maxed out yet. I think I actually still have at least one full uh, row to go. Why the hell everybody's going so damn slow? I'm doing five under the speed limit. And they're just like, not going. I think that was a sign for reduced speed with getting off of that rest area. You know, I, I like this 567. I'd like to see a little bit more uh, customization to it. Other than that, it's a great truck. Awesome concept. Of course, I love the uh, the T800. Actually getting, we should be getting really, really close. We should be coming up on the uh, the U.S. Mexico border. Well, I got 240, 244 to go, so we got to be pretty damn close. I think if I was to have uh, streamed all the uh, all of the last two days I've spent driving for PCC, I would have smashed my records. They were some long, long drives. Like I'd go to sleep about normal time, about two o'clock in the morning, get up, have my load already pre-dispatched from last night and then run my ass off all day. And I've already, in the, in the, the uh, two and a half days that I've been here, actually three days now, technically, the three days that I've been here, I've used four resets already, four or five resets. So I've burned through 70 hours four or five times already. That shows you that I've found a place that I'm willing enough to absolutely just stomp mileage. It's not about demonstrating that, oh, hey, look at me. I'm a, I'm a king shit driver, so everybody can flake off. No, it's, I found a place that has the level of realism, the, the, the amount that they expect from you as a driver it, it's the closest thing to being back behind a real wheel that I've seen ever in the uh, the virtual world trucking community. So it feels good to be on board with these guys. I'm glad that Ace hired me and uh, we've got some killer staff, Darius, uh, Ken, we've got several guys and women too as well. So. Uh, there's a lot going on behind the scenes here at PCC. And like I said, if you guys are interested, look down in the description. There's a link to their Facebook page. Now, read it carefully because they do require a lot out of you as a driver. This is not for, like, say, somebody just wants to drive a dickload of miles and do whatever they want. You are required to do pretty much everything that a real-life truck driver does, so... It, it, it's about as hardcore as you're going to see. Which is why I like it so much. There we go. Slowing down to that. California speed there, 55 miles an hour. We'll reset our cruise and just deal with it. <laughs> For the point two seconds that we had to deal with it, now we're back to 70. No, we're not. Nah, yeah, for now we are. In 
until I see that sign. Well, it says 70, but the truck's 55. Yep, 55. Actually, governed one mile an hour faster than what the speed limit is. Hang on, I heard a damn thing. But what's cool, that, like, I know I'm all over the place and sporadic with this as we continue to do episodes with PCC here. I'll get my shit together and a little bit more organized, but like the, the logging software that we use is called Truxbook Client. And the thing I like the most about it is you launch the client first. <clears throat> you don't have to go through Steam to launch ATS. It says that either run ETS2, run ATS, or multiplayer. So it will launch if you've got ATS2, it'll launch that. It'll launch ATS, and it'll also launch multiplayer. Now, it won't show you anything until you've actually delivered your first load, but it shows the status of it, the game, from, to, distance, and profit. So it's pretty informative. It'd be nice if it said shipper and receiver or pick up and drop off. But I'm not gonna complain at all because I mean, hell, it works and hey, I was right. We were gonna exit the El Centro here and make our way down to Mexico. Excuse me, I'm gonna come up here, come to full stop. I almost want to play this on three screens again. That way I can use triple monitors as uh, kind of being able to look around. It does appear that we are going to be crossing the border here. We're gonna roll on down to the uh, U.S.-Mexico border and we are gonna head on down south. We're gonna stop, hopefully, at Sammy Hagar's Cabo Wabo. As I did promise the guys back at dispatch some uh, tequila. So it does look like we are rolling up on customs here. Not sure if we have to stop. Oh, we don't have to stop going into the country. We don't have to stop coming out. Awesome. Bienvenidos, Mexico. Oh God, it's 20 miles an hour through here. That's the one thing that you really gotta watch though, is you gotta watch them speeds. We'll just set our speed at that for right now until we see that number jump up. We're just creeping. The one thing I gotta say about this truck is it looks really freaking good at night all lit up. And of course I've got my uh, chick co-pilot, of course. Never drive alone. Of course it's not a team drive effort, but I always roll with my uh, homegirl. So we're officially for the first time ever in Die Hard Live TV history. We are in Mexico. I've never gotten this uh, map to work before, so they had updated it. It's like, what the hell, let's, let's try it. Threw Canada Dream on there, 
saw that I was able to go not only just to Mexico, but also Canada as well, so awesome. Jake should kick in here. So we are in Mexicali. six miles out but these are gonna be the slow miles because we gotta go by a lot down here yeah, that's why I thought everything goes in a single lane down here makes sense if we're gonna have uh, a 20 mile an hour speed limit that it's gonna be single lane but we are gonna be turning up here. So our load today, we our first load we started, I didn't do this on, <clears throat> on stream, so this was the first load of the day period. I, we went from Las Vegas to Nogales. Your speed bumps like it. Now, the one thing that I did notice is that we still have the uh, springboard brakes. I don't know if I, nah, I was rolling backwards. I guess my tandems were sitting up on that speed bump. Our speed limit's way up. Let's go ahead and make our turn and let's get going. Watch these damn speed bumps though. gonna be a whole new adventure for me never been down here before god they like speed bumps and I have a feeling we're gonna get caught at this uh yep we're getting caught at this light oh god bounce messages going too fast to here because then I gotta really slam on the brakes. I get used to that gear shifting sound. It sounds so weird. Get back into California again. Let's get back over this lane. I guess that was just like a uh, passing lane or whatever. Fifty-five to here is kind of freaking fast, but okay. Kind of 
really fast, seeing how the road juts around. But whatever, it says 55, so 55 is what we're gonna do. The Federales just drove by us. Well, 55 is what we're gonna do until we run up on this truck here. We might not catch him as bad as I thought we would. We're still closing on him. So we will catch him, which means I get stuck behind him. But then when I look, it feels like I, I can see the, the riding a lot better on the truck. It tends to disappear again. So who knows? We might be able to stay far enough behind this Trans Am truck without having to ride the Jakes too much. Turn them off for right now. Just let it free roll. That way I don't have to either continual Jake. But we've got it down to 60 miles now, and then uh, once we get into uh, where the hell are we going? It's got some weird name. San Felipe, never mind. The other one had the weird name, the all-terrain crane load. Once we get into San Felipe, we'll go ahead and fill out another dispatch form and we'll see where they want us to go. Let's check, we got no damage. Damage on the truck is just because I haven't serviced it in a while. What the fuck are you doing, homeboy? I missed the, uh, the uh, train horns that the uh, 670 had. I wish it was daylight, though. I didn't have to keep blinding everybody with the high beams. And more importantly, I wish I wasn't stuck behind a slow ass Trans Am truck. Then again, this truck can be a dog too and it's trying to pull something up hills. Yeah, screw it. Still getting used to driving with, uh, Nike running shoes on. Well, they're narrow on the back and wide up at the toes. Makes it interesting when you try to flat foot the uh, gas pedal, you're also hitting the brake. Bye, Felicia. Thank you. Get the hell up out of here. Now we can actually drive at speed with this. Tells the shit. It does say stop, but what do we do here? Oh, let's pay a toll. That's somebody parked their uh, peed off in the dirt there. Another one off in the dirt. And so we're only 22 miles out. Hopefully dispatch puts us back up into the states. Although they might have us, uh, depending on what the load is, have us run around down here in Mexico for a little bit, but the longer they keep me in Mexico, the longer before 
they get their hands on that uh, fine Mexican tequila I promised. Now that's assuming that they'll let me bring it back across the customs. So there's another thing too. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a slight little gap in between the uh, bug shield and the hood. That annoys me just a little bit. It's nothing major, but it's like, you know, I mean, I always stress the small stuff. So we are rolling now into our drop off city. But they have a 55 mile hour speed limit through the city. Alright, so we gotta turn here and then. I don't know if it's illegal to turn right on red, but I'm not gonna chance it and get a. Uh, traffic violation for it. Now, you see that other light turn too. That's when we go to my favorite camera, the outside one. Oh, Peterbilt dealer down here, sweet. What the hell's going on here? He's off the road. There's our destination right there. What the hell? Have they have given us any easier parking? Shit. Actually, that a little bit of a pain in the ass. Getting out, no, or getting in, no problem. Getting out, that's gonna be a uh, bit of a cluster. It's literally nosed up against the concrete, and my trailer is gonna be right behind it. And apparently, I just hit something like invisible wall, maybe. Lock the diff and try low gear. How the fuck are you supposed to drop off your load there? If, uh... I can't get in there. Ah, there we go. No, not quite. Well, to avoid damaging our load, and so I don't get stuck, we're gonna see what happens if I just hit that. Obviously there's a conflict, so now I need to take, and here's where logging the mile part comes in real, uh, actually comes in very handy. We need to open up our calculator. Put in our 70 hours of drive time, then subtract the 10 hours and 31 minutes So 10.31. That leaves us with 59, 59.69 uh, hours of drive time left. 59.69. Remember that number. All right, so I've done all those down, so we're gonna get our ADR up. So we still have two full runs each way to go. <clears throat> for leveling up. But now, since we're in San Felipe, we have to get our three loads. See, so we got Butter going to Tulsa. That's going to be a big-ass trip. But let's go ahead and punch it in. So we have 59, 69 hours remaining. Go ahead and fill out my dispatch sheet here. Fifty-nine, 
San Felipe, and that's MX. I forgot to put tier two in. Load one is butter to Tulsa, Oklahoma. And that is what a 29 hour, 14 minute. And a 14.33 mile trip. Trip number two, let's check what do we want. Galp, New Mexico? Sure, we'll try that one. That's a, this one is to Gallup. And it is home accessories. Home accessories to Gallup, New Mexico, trip distance and mile 1435. And it is 698. And then our third load will be ice cream going to another part of the country here. So let's see, ice cream to Sanoida. Senyota, Senyota, or whatever it is. And it is only a five hour for a two minutes. And a 239 mile trip. So we just Submitted that in through dispatch, and we're going to wait to hear back to see what they uh, tell us where we're going to go. I think about downtime. And there's our answer already. We are going to Gallup, New Mexico. So we're gonna take that load of home accessories. Oh God, what in the fuck? Um, <laughs> I'm glad you guys are capturing this, because. Stop, stop, stop. Ah. Stop before it gets any worse. Well, I guess we're gonna have to let my truck get totaled out here first. I knew something was screwed with that. So, until this stops violently fucking me in the ass like it is right now. We're just gonna have to let it do this. Ow, 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 ow. Come on. Give me the option to visit immediately. Thank you for fuck's sake. It's already costing me at the ass. Holy crap. That was very violent. So let's see how bad that hurt. Service. Fuck me. Well, at least uh, uh, if they uh, have any questions, they can just refer to the uh, the stream here and they can see how violently I was getting screwed up. All right, so we got a 565 uh, Cummins X15 performance series in here. Uh, what do we got now? Anything new? I don't want that. That's not new. I'll check it out. We can get that, or we can get that. 
I don't know if we should ditch that because we've got our combo with the lights on it, but it does stick up a little bit higher. So does that, but that drops down. Yeah, maybe change up the bumper. No, that drops down pretty low too. I don't know, I kind of like that in Chrome, but I have a feeling that it wasn't the fact that I had the Firefly combo bumper, because everywhere else I've gone, it's been no problem whatsoever. So we've got our exclusive exhaust. We have everything that we can get here. We are going to head over... And we have low air pressure, so we gotta let that build. So, we gotta sit here. And I'm gonna go ahead and send him a message too. That's annoying. See what I say about that? All right, cool. So, oh, seriously, turning the fucking parking brake off is enough to. Piss that off. Jeez. There's a curb there. Let's see where we gotta go. Just over here to Best Buy to get our load. There we go. I was gonna say, I know there's a speed limit. So we're gonna head over here, I can see our load, but it's already on, I believe, the uh, Transcraft trailer, which is the one I wanted. There we go, let them know, that way, what happened, that way they don't, they're like, oh, you just drove like an asshole, and no. I've got it on here, and I just, I notified them that the trailer went flying, and my truck kind of, uh, sunk through the ground, told them not to freak when they saw the high maintenance bill. Strapped down, we just got repaired from uh, taking one hell of a wild ride. This truck just looks really good. Combination of a 389 and a 579 thrown together, and you get a 567. And then throw it on top, you get the nice heritage package too, like I've got. Designated by the uh, grill. And on the side of the sleeper, it'll de uh, denote the uh, heritage package. Um, I can't change out trucks until they uh, bump me up to another tier. I am a company driver, so this 579 is mine until they tell me that, hey, you're no longer a tier two driver. Whoa, what the fuck? flying vehicles 
Until they tell me that I have gone from tier two to tier three, I will be in this truck. It's like I was in the, uh, the 670 until they had me stop in Vegas, switch out to the, uh, well, this, the current 567 out of the 670. That's the thing I like about doing this too, is you don't have to worry about changing this, that, and everything else. You're a company driver, you drive their trucks. I liked how that had a nice wide berth too. And that's gonna end down in no one lane. Oh shit. Pretty sure I unlocked the disc. <laughs> Let's see, since they were doing it, oh yeah. There we go. I got a lot of spit back. So let's play the game again. Can we get up to 55 miles an hour without getting stuck behind somebody? We'll set our cruise. See how long that lasts. I have a feeling I'm gonna run up on these two clowns pretty quick. thing that always kills me too is I cannot as much as I want to listen to music if I want this video to stay there then yeah no music otherwise it's kind of a waste to even do it if you don't if uh, you want to listen to music because then you're just gonna lose everything only the people that were there I wonder if I could roll through this damn thing uh, I obviously can't right now because it's a dumbass Walmart truck. I see everybody stopping now. Yeah, you can roll. Is he gonna stop? Thank you. That's one way to get around the damn Walmart truck. Alright, so we came in here in the middle of the night. We're rolling out in the morning. So on average, I can do a reset pretty much every day. Meaning that I can run all 70 of my drive hours out or at least get it whittled down to where there's no load that I can take to zero out my uh, drive time, which will force, it forces me into a reset. Which isn't a bad thing. This load is... You son of a bitch doesn't tell me the miles. Oh wait, I can tell ya. Let me just uh, grab my phone here real quick. It was a... Do -do -do, let's pull up dispatch page here. It is a 698 mile trip and we have 652 to go. So just under a 700 miler, and we've got to get it back up into the States. 
So we will be stopping at customs this time on the way out. What are you doing, dude? I know you got a... Oh, he's Schneider, no wonder. He doesn't even know what the hell he's doing. I don't think he does. Probably doesn't. Let's see, let's go down the list of shit trucking companies. Schneider, Swift, JB Hunt, Bison, Transfreight McNamara, uh, Challenger, Basically all your entry level, uh, entry level companies, shit. Like I said though, if you're just starting out in the industry, you're gonna, you're gonna have that black mark on your record. You're gonna have to be hired by a, a, a volume company where they believe in quantity over quality of the drivers. But what you do in the time it takes Say, uh, let's just use RE West or Dillon or Western Express, which they're not really that much better. But uh, RE West is a local company here, and they also have a uh, depot in uh, Houston or El Paso, one of the two uh, southern uh, Texas cities. <clears throat> a lot of these companies require you to have like two years of, uh, at least two years of. Uh, driving experience and the only way to get that driving experience is to drive for a scumbag company to get that experience built up so yeah you're starting off in the, uh, the trucking industry if you don't already have experience from like a class B CDL or if you're not lucky enough to get like say uh, well it's kind of hard to get a uh, tank endorsement right off the rip. Oh shit, he's turning. My B, he's not turning, he's just getting over. My B license, got that at 18, got my uh, A at 21. And then went for every single endorsement I could think of. Hazmat, oversize, tank, Back then, they actually required one for flatbed. Because you got to stop every 300 miles or X amount of hours to make sure the uh, straps are tight. So we're going to roll back into, I believe this is Mexicali. Lucky in the light stayed green for us. Oh, I'm breaking my back on these speed bumps. Turn there, buddy. I knew that was going to happen. Son of a bitch. All right, so there up ahead of us is the border back into the U.S.
So we made our first successful delivery to Mexico. Although I don't know if I'd chalk it up to a success as you guys saw the uh, trailer go flying and my truck get buried in the ground. By the time I was able to rescue it to a garage, it was already at 81% damage, so. I don't know if I'd really uh, call that a success, but shit, we made it. What the fuck? It's rare. <laughs> There's a train track we just drove over that had like no collision whatsoever. And it like awkwardly <laughs> made its way to the center of the uh, road there. Interesting. I think this, uh, look, here we are across it again. Saw another one of our drivers there. I know at some point this is going to drop down to 20 miles an hour and it's going to be holy crap, which is why I'm kind of pussyfooting the throttle right now. I don't know when it drops down to 20. So we're kind of driving like a weenie for now. Although this car is slowing down massively, so I'm gonna guess. You son of a bitch. 20. And we are at the US border. Get out of my way. Sir, do you have anything to declare? Yes. Shot number one. Hopefully that wasn't closed. Oh, you motherfucker. Why is it not? Apparently they don't have that working, so we're gonna have to back up. Shit, can we? Uh, we're fucking boxed in. I don't see any way of uh, paying this toll. Well, isn't that just a uh, interesting little? Uh, what the, oh, we got a car back there too. Um, well, we're gonna try and do this without damaging the truck, the trailer. Not something I would normally do, but we're gonna lock the diff. And we're gonna push this Jeep and semi back. We're gonna fucking try to at least. Oh man. Effectively fucked. Why is that one working? They're allowed to go through that one, but for some reason I can't fucking pay the toll here. Hello, let me through. Instead, I'm gonna have to fucking try and get back here and get this truck and. Yeah, that's not working at all. God damn it. So we're stuck. I knew I should have went eat toll, but I couldn't read what the fucking sign said. Assistance, por favor. We got a line of traffic back behind here, too. What the fuck? Uh, the nightmares, the logistics. Don't know what we're gonna do now. We're stuck. Oh, we are more than stuck. I, d 
don't want to use my truck as a battering ram, but damn it if I have to. F7 will just tow me to back where we uh, back further. Unless they'll tow me ahead, let's try. Because I don't want to damage that trailer any. It's going to take me back to Mexicali. God damn it. Well, that's going to be a setback, and it's going to take us longer than uh, longer than we wanted, but... Fuck it. It's better than being stuck in that shit show that we're in. I want to unlock those diffs, too. Really, I was inside the dealership, but I didn't discover it. Interesting. All right, so lesson learned about uh, e tools. Our toll booth down here. Getting the freaking uh, e lane, not cash. So we're not really that far out. We uh, only have about like five minutes from where we were. All right, so we're gonna do this again, but this time we're not gonna be stupid and go in the same fucking lane that we did last time. It's a learning curve thing. We didn't know last time, so learning's half the battle. Hello, officer. You stupid son of a bitch. Really? Do you not see a truck turning? Good job, asshole. They need to fix the AI traffic in here. <sighs> There's one of our trailers that has the uh, tail on it. Shit, all the AI are fucking stupid in this game. They're dumb enough as is, and then you could actually even make them even crazier by doing the, uh, uh, what was that one traffic mod where it makes them a hell of a lot more, uh, aggressive. It was the aggressive traffic mod. That was insane. Literally the bastards get like two feet in front of you and cut right in. All right, so there's the funny little cross railroad. So we're right up coming up on the uh, U.S. border. Taking it slightly longer than we wanted to to get back, but that's what happens when you uh, get caught in a toll booth. I know once we come around this corner, we're gonna hit the, up there is where we're gonna hit the 20 mile an hour zone. Up here. Right out here. Everybody's kind of creeping along. No idea who the fuck that is. Alright, so we are gonna go... Do one of these easy passes here. Etoll.
We're free! We've actually made it back to the States! Ah, we made it back! Holy crap! Got a little excited there and was speeding, but... They didn't bust me, thank God. We can uh, continue on, despite it taking two hours more than what we wanted to. Learning curve. This is agonizing. Eighteen miles an hour. Come on, exit can't come up fast enough. You can tell the guys are doing the same damn thing I was doing, getting ready to turn. Got over to the left side and hugged it. Bag's gonna have us at a complete stop here. Are you fucking serious, dude? It's an on ramp. You're supposed to merge the merging lane, not a come to a dead ass stop lane. <sighs> Kill him here. jerk has got the entire entrance backed up. Come on, dude. Get your ass in gear. Dude, you're an idiot. Get out of my way. Fucking retard on a Western Star. Good grief. Get back under our governed speed here, 55 miles an hour. Probably gonna get past like we're going backwards, but we must obey all speed limits. Interesting to see how much that uh, trip back to the repair center uh, kills my drive time. It might actually do me a favor, though. It might actually uh, balance it out more to where I can almost zero out my drive time instead of having to reset with like four hours, five hours left because there's no load close enough to where I could get it as close to uh, zero out of 70. And this one's gonna be kind of, uh, kind of messing with it. It's a decent trip. Plus the two hours out on top of it doesn't really help it, but it should still be fine. We'll easily be able to get another three, four loads out. So obviously now we are out of, uh, California, we're in Arizona. What the fuck is with the 70 and 55 split? There's a 
allowed to do 70 miles an hour for like five seconds, and then as we got the Yuma here, drops down to 55. There's Arizona. Here, my shoe is on the uh, clutch the wrong way. Finally, we can actually open this thing up. There we go, cruise set 70, we're good. Let's roll. We gotta drive all the way to Arizona and make it into, we're probably gonna get flagged at the port of entry in uh, Gallup unless we take a different route, but from what I can see, and usually the way that this route runs, if we get on 40, we're gonna hit the, uh, the Gallup port of entry, which unless we come in through the south, we will be going up 40. It all depends on where we go when we come off of eight. Hello, Ossifer. I cleared them by a long shot. No use clogging the hammer lane. Good on fuel by 500 miles, almost. So we're gonna stop. We'll just fuel up when we get to Gallup because I know they've got a service center, fuel stations, we'll be good. Shit, I'm gonna slow down again then. Nope, 65. Shitting me. I think that's why I set it to 60. Governor of the truck at 60. What's going on, cowboy? I think that's why I set it at 70 max because of the fluctuation between 60 and 65. Other than Cali being a 55 mile an hour state. Now I know when we do the heavies. That's a 55 mandatory, which makes sense. Now, ideally, what we want to do, um, <clears throat> if you go down in the description and go on their Facebook page, they give you a complete list of everything that uh, basically they got their terms of service, which is just basically your. Uh, orientation but the requirements you have to put in you have to have a trucks book account you can create one for free um, the way payroll works there's a uh, my bank thing all everything is all listed on their uh, site but uh, mileage wise you start as a company driver I'm still a company driver but there's three tiers tier one two and three, the first tier starts you with your choice of a, thank you, starts with a, uh, either a Volvo VNL 670, the 579 or the 680, and you have to use the company skin, which those are provided as well as the trailer skins, and then you can advance up to tier two, which is what I'm currently in, and then you can also advance all the way up to tier three, but uh, mileage wise, I don't remember, but you're required to submit every trip, uh, traffic offenses on, all that good stuff. Basically, their goal is to make it as realistic as possible, so obviously following all traffic rules and all that stuff. But if you go look at their page and like it, You'll be able to see everything there. 
and just contact them and they will get you set up with everything needed now the thing that i can't stress the most is they're looking for serious drivers we've had just since i've come on board there's been about three or four of them that joined and then found out that oh it's just i can't just drive wherever i want to whenever i want to i've got to do this that and everything else you got to read the read it before you agree to it and apparently they didn't do so so they got pushed out the door which is why we have some open seats if you don't mind having to wait for dispatch like you in real life following just their simple rules it's a great company I love it I mean you get any BTC now you can do it on uh, on a computer it's just easier for me to use Facebook Messenger on my phone than it is to alt tab out of uh, ATS But the dispatching and the driver lounge is through Facebook Messenger, so that would be another requirement you have to have face. Oh, should we get off here? I think I saw that. Do you have to have a Facebook? They will do everything they can to get you in a truck and out enjoying the open road. does get a little bit uh, confusing here well not confusing a little bit annoying having to continually adjust your cruise control and there's a further reduced speed ahead no same speed as 35 but we're gonna hear the Jake kick in to hold me at speed Back to 50, please. Ooh, please tempt me with 70. I'll take 65. will definitely work for me right there cruise control is set turn our take break off don't need it on right now Billboards up there on that, uh. Oh, god damn it, really? Back to a 55 mile an hour zone again, through Phoenix. 200. So now we can check off the bucket list that we've been to uh, Mexico.
next one is checking off going back to Canada again. What's going on up here? Come on car, I need you to go a little freaking faster than that. sometimes come on let's go Open is Turner. Yeah, let's we'll stay in uh, eight low for this one. Cruise is set once again and we are rocking. Saying we still have another six hours roughly. Hopefully we can chew into that a little bit and make up for the lost time. Yes I am. Last I heard, that company uh, screwed over a lot of people. I guess I should be thankful that I actually got mine. Although I've had it for quite some time. At least a couple years now. Right now I'm have a drag race with a US Express truck that I'm gonna lose. until he stabs the friggin' brakes again and then I have to stab him because I've got a car to my outside well, I don't think that's really going to be the case I think traffic's really going to play too much of an issue here see how my truck likes to fall flat yeah, that's the other thing the, the sound pack that they modified for the 567 to not use the bass SES sounds, it does sound really weird. Never heard of uh, JCT before. Then again, I've been out of the uh, driving loop for a while. See how long we can stay at cruise before it cuts us off again. It won't be long because this damn bus. Well, not even so much the bus, but the damn car. Brake sound they got going great, but the shifting sound is so weird. It's better though than having the stock Jake brake for uh, out of like the 579. I cannot stand that thing. What the hell are we doing? 
We're passing a slow line of traffic, that's what we're doing. Now, dispatch is done through Facebook Messenger. It's a closed private group and they will add you to the uh, dispatch list as well as the driver lounge. And like I said uh, earlier, they've got dispatch pretty much all day until right up around 11 o'clock midnight. And that's usually about the time when you can schedule a load to pick up the next morning. But very quick on dispatching you. There's a 10 minute grace period just in case. There's several dispatches that are on board as well as the safety manager. Go and hear you, bitch. Trainers. There's plenty of people there that if you have any questions whatsoever, they're more than willing to uh, answer them and help you out with anything that you might have trouble with. Like setting up your uh, accounts and all that. They're there to help you and it's nice with everything being centralized off of one place that you literally just have to boot up it's for yes yeah, for ATS Albuquerque and La Cruces. Oh shit. Are you seriously gonna do this right now, you jackass? And butler truck. I swear the AI AI is dumber than a box of broken condoms in this game. I think that's insulting a box of broken condoms. Yeah, we're good on fuel. Believe it or not. We only have 175 miles to drive and I've got... 647 miles left of fuel. We're good to make it all the way in to uh, Gallup and then we'll fuel up after we drop the load off. Because after that car hit me in uh, Mexicali, I'm gonna have to get it serviced. Yep, Albuquerque, 40 East, which means we will be taking and uh, more than likely getting flagged at the Gallup way station, which is perfectly fine by me. I haven't been flagged in a while, so it wouldn't hurt to come in and get weighed. Now, I've noticed too that, it's, I don't know if this is an SES thing or what, if you stop at uh, some of the truck stops that have cap scales and you weigh yourself, you have a, a lot less tendency to get flagged at a weigh station than you would if you were to never, never do a cap scale ever. Let's see if we run up on any more of our trucks here. I always now have a weird fascination of looking at the other side of the interstate and looking to see if I see one of our logos. Or if I'm passing one. I haven't seen the logo on the truck. Any of the AI trucks, and I highly doubt you will. But I do see it a lot on the trailers. I think we might actually be coming up to one of our trailers. I 
know we don't have doubles, so it's not gonna be on one of those. And that's not one of our truck, our trailers. But that's a, oh, well, I think it's right away. Yep, right away. With a piece of shit. Ah, oh, I thought it was a sterling for a second. How was that? That's the, uh, uh, 587? The bubble nose? Ugly ass Peterbilt that they did in the late 90s, early 2000s? Nice livestock trailer. Now here's a fuel station and all that. You can run whatever map you want to, but then if you want to do just the stock uh, SCS four states, you can do so. If you want to do coast to coast, you can do the coast to coast. If you want to do coast to coast with Canada Dream, you can do that. If you want to do coast to coast Canada Dream and the Mexico, uh, Mexican map, all three of them combined together, you can do that. I've got them all linked up together that way, I, I, depending on where I'm at, it just gives me more versatility as far as with the 70 hours that you're allowed to drive a week, it gives you a lot more places to go that other, if you were just running, say you were just running coast to coast and you were out on the east coast where it's not really that much done you would have to take a reset and basically start over with your 70 hours uh, coast to coast you can find that on uh, the SES forum in the mod section under maps you can find I believe also the Canna Dream version uh, the, the versions that you want is the current version of Coast to Coast is 2.5, Canada Dream is 2.4, and they just released the Mexico, uh, the Mexico map a few days ago. But you can get all of that from the SES forum. I don't even bother going to mod sites anymore. The only place that I did go to a mod site was to get the uh, You'll get dispatch if they hire you on. You'll be added to the, the group on Facebook. And then uh, I believe Ace will be the one who will add you to the uh, dispatch group conversation as well as the driver lounge. And he'll run you through uh, the basics and get you set on your way. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask him. Him, it's not just him. There's also several, like we said, we have uh, trainers. We've got dispatchers. They all are there to help you if you have any questions. So don't fear, don't be afraid to ask him anything. They're there to help, and they have no problem doing it. Now let's get over. See that happening out there. killed all the speed there. Look down in the description of this uh, live stream. I've got the link to their page in the description. But if not, just look up Precision Carriers BTC.
Now look to Mexico. Let's see if we get flagged here at Gallup. Yep, knew it. flag there. <laughs> so our weight is, we are 73,252 pounds. So close to our destination, we're going to go to our external cameras. We're only four miles out. I see everything sounds right outside of the truck. Inside, it sounds like crap. We gotta get down to that train yard. But to get to that train yard, we've gotta make one hell of a trip around the city to do so. Starting third here because it's a uh, downhill. Whoa, holy shit, what was that? Looks like a UFO just went crashing into the ground. See our light turn green. Yep, there we go. All we gotta do is five knuckle shuffle around uh, Gallop just to get where we're going. Cross the railroad tracks and then turn around and drive straight back. And now we gotta go down this dark ass alley road here. I'm 
have to make another turn up here. Of course, we're just following the GPS, so wherever the GPS says to go is where we go. And actually, no, we don't, because our load actually goes right into here. It'll terminate through here. This is the rail yard. I don't know why the fuck it was giving me the loop around. Here we are, we're in the BN BNSF rail yard. And they want us to park it in between these two trailers. Will do. It's like looking at that truck in the dark, it looks so sweet. They need to put more lights up though, in the yard. Too far. Ah, no, I should be perfect. stuff around in here. Of course, I'm a perfectionist. I don't like seeing my loads all cockeyed, even though it will tell you trailer ready for unloading. No, it's not. If it's not perfectly centered in there, if it looks like shit, I'm not dropping that load. That is a properly parked trailer. Go ahead and cut those off. Let's do that. And we're going to have to look at our. Look at our time. And we're going to fill that out on our clock. We have 59, 69 hours remaining. So let's go in and 59, 69 minus. It took us 16 hours and 20 minutes. That leaves us 43 hours, 49 minutes. Let me fill this out again. Forty-three, forty-nine, I think. Forty-three, forty-nine. We're in Gallup, New Mexico. So once we get that there, wow, that damage was a bitch. So basically, hopefully that gave you guys a good insight as to what they're about. Now, like I said, all these mods. Uh, no, age doesn't really matter as long as you act uh, in a professional manner. Like, just, I guess the easiest way to say it is don't be an asshole and everything is fine. As long as you got the drive and the dedication to put the miles in and the time to do it, then that's all that they really uh, they really care about. We're uh, just like any other trucking company. We're, we're a family. We stick together and everybody's always there for each other. But hopefully this gave you guys a good look at PCC and my driving styles don't exact, do not reflect on them whatsoever. I know Ace... Uh, he, I've seen his him driving. Uh, he does a great job. Of course, he drives in real life too, like I used to as well. So there's several uh, truck drivers that still drive in real life that also drive on here. And Ace being the owner, it's it, it's really cool to have a VTC that's based off of people who know the industry, and it, that's the one thing that I've looked for for so long was people that were in the industry that knew how it worked with the the e logs, the fuel, the the mileage charting, all that stuff, the rules, regulations, uh, how it comes to, comes down to leasing a truck, stuff like that. People that are in the know are nine times out of ten going to be like the saving grace. So. Like I said, hopefully this gave you guys a good insight. Like I said, look down in the description. Go check them out on Facebook. 
submit your application if you get approved welcome to the team and uh i hope you guys enjoyed it so for now we're gonna go ahead and end this because we're right around just over the two hour mark and i'm gonna go ahead and uh probably jump in the pool and then do some more loads here but thanks for everybody for tuning in like i said feel free to check them out on facebook and thanks for watching